Hey everyone and welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. I decided that I'm going to do a new series. This series is going to be focused on my save file and all of the sims in the save file. And I had been thinking about doing something similar to this for a while but I didn't know if anybody would be interested in the uh, in this kind of a video because it's going to be a lot of talking and not, a, not any gameplay or anything. Just kind of a an overview of each sim or each household in the save but then it was suggested to me by hungry cow plant um i hope you don't mind me saying your name because they wanted to make a spreadsheet so i figured this would you know since somebody's actually asking for it then maybe it was something that others might be interested in as well instead of doing one world per episode i might just break it down per neighborhood for the big for the bigger worlds like willow creek windenburg oasis springs san maishuno that have like a lot of sims in that in those worlds and for the smaller worlds just do in one-off episodes like forgotten hollow um uh, glimmerbrook those worlds would have only one episode the first episode this one will be Boundary Cove, so this area right here, so these five households. And then the next one would be Courtyard Lane and Pendula View, and probably Sage Estates with the Pendula View. So Willow Creek would have three episodes, if that makes sense. But anyway, that is what I was thinking of doing because it's a little bit shorter, because I don't think anybody wants to sit through an hour long video of me just talking about sims that are in my save file. Not planning on playing the, any of the households, just going into the household, showing you their house, giving you their backstory, their traits, uh, what clubs they may be a part of. Anyway, I think I have rambled long enough. Let's get started with the first group of households. And like I said, we're gonna start in Foundry Cove. This is the Langford household. Um, Penny is a geek. She loves playing video games and learning new things. Life hasn't been too kind to Penny. She was bullied all through school, even by her parents. They were athletes, but she was too clumsy and uninterested. Feeling like she didn't fit in anywhere, she became a loner. When she was old enough, she moved away from Sunset Valley to find the place she belonged. Where that is exactly, she doesn't know. This is Penny's house. This is Penny, and her aspiration is computer whiz. She works as a live chat support agent in the tech guru career. Her skills are comedy, charisma, cooking, and video gaming, all level one. And her traits are geek, loner, and clumsy. And her aspiration trait is quick learner. Her likes and dislikes are hobbies, or her hobbies and skills. She likes programming and video gaming, and she dislikes fitness. For her music likes, she likes uh, electronica music and S-pop, and she dislikes spooky music. Her favorite colors are red and blue, and she dislikes pink. And she likes cerebral sims and pet enthusiasts, and she dislikes ambitionless sims. And her conversation topics, she likes discussing hobbies and deep thoughts, and she dislikes malicious interactions. And she is part of three clubs. She's part of the Code Monkeys, which actually she's the leader of the Code Monkeys, and these are tech gurus and freelance programmers. Um, they they just, you know, do robotics and, and that kind of stuff. Just lots of um, geeky fun stuff. Um, she's also part of the Willow Creek Singles. All of my young adult un, unmarried Sam's are part of a singles club that way they can meet the potential mates whenever you play them and she's also the leader of the gamers club but she hasn't added anybody to the uh to the club yet and they just love games um they just play video games and it's for young adults adults and elders so that is penny so we will move on to the next household next up is the bachman household after the death of his beloved wife, Beth, Rick fell into a deep depression. He quit his job, he quit taking care of the kids and himself. A few years later, and he's gotten a bit com comfortable with his new lifestyle. This has meant that his oldest daughter, Blair, 
has had to step in and get a job and take care of her younger sister Lizzie and her father, all while keeping her grades up. She would love to go to a college, but with the state her father's in, she's wor she worries what will happen to Lizzie. Okay, so we are at the Bachman house. This is what their house looks like. And here is Rick. And he's just kind of let himself go. Um, his wife, I mean, he she was the love of his life. She was his soulmate. She was his everything. And then when she passed, it just dragged him down to the point that he just, he's still stuck in mourning her and he just he just can't pull himself out and it has become his new normal anyway so his aspiration is soulmate he does want to try to find that special someone not to replace his wife he wants that that lifelong companion his job he is unemployed his skills he's level one in cooking i mean in comedy and charisma and he's level seven in cooking his uh, traits are gloomy, lazy, and slob, and he has the alluring uh, aspiration trait. For his likes and dislikes, he likes blues music and Americana, and he dislikes hip-hop. For his hobbies and skills, he dislikes baking, wellness, cooking, rock climbing, fitness, skiing, snowboarding, and handiness. He just doesn't like anything anymore. Life has no meaning for him, and he's really doing a disservice to his daughters especially Blair, who has had to pick up the slack. His favorite colors are gray and white, and he dislikes orange. Um, he likes emotional decision makers and ambitionless sims, and he dislikes high energy sims. He, he just can't deal with it. He just can't deal with happy, peppy people. Um, conversation topics, he likes small talk and potty humor, and he dislikes deep thoughts. He doesn't really want to think about things too much. Now, he is part of the Grieving Spouses Club, and this uh, this club is a support group for those who need help working through the grief of losing their spouses. And this is his daughter, Blair. She looks really excited to be on her computer. And she's kind of just the one that is holding this all together. She's holding down the family as best as she can as a teen and also going to school and trying to have you know keep her grades up so she can eventually go off to university and have her own life for blair her aspiration is painter extraordinaire so she wants to just be a really good painter um she is a c student and she also is a babysitter as a part-time job her skills she just has charisma right now her traits are neat creative and she has the muser trait for her aspiration and her likes and dislikes uh, for hobbies and skills. She likes programming and video gaming, which is weird. I'm trying to figure out how that happened. Um, and she dislikes handiness. I might have to change that uh, before the next one. Um, for music, she likes alternative and singer-songwriter, and she doesn't like S-pop. Um, for conversation topics, she likes deep thoughts and she likes affection. And I feel like the affection is comes from just her dad being so distant with her and Lizzie. And she dislikes potty humor. Um, for Sim characteristics, she likes idealistic Sims and high energy Sims, and she dislikes ambitionless Sims. I feel like that also has something to do with her father because, you know, she's watched him pretty much waste away to nothing. And for her favorite colors, she likes yellow and pink and dislikes brown. And she is part of the Young Picasso's uh, group. And they're just future painters, writers, and photographers. And now to Lizzie. Lizzie is not part of a club just yet, but she's a social butterfly. And her trait is outgoing. And for her likes, for music, she likes kids radio and pop music. And she dislikes classical. Um, for hobbies and skills, she likes video gaming. And, for, and she dislikes fishing. Her favorite colors are pink and purple. And she dislikes the color brown. And... She likes spirited sims, and she dislikes ambitionless sims, and I think, again, that has something to do with her her dad. They really want their dad to be the dad that they once knew, and that is the Bachman family. Next up is the McKinley household. Marissa has always dreamed of the perfect life with the perfect husband. She feels like she's found that with Emerson. Sure, he's a little older than Marissa, but he makes her feel like a queen. Sadly, Emerson hasn't been completely honest with Marissa. 
Will Marissa get her happily ever after with Emerson, or could the secret he's keeping change everything forever? Later on in this series, you will meet Emerson, and he's not exactly what she thinks he is. But we'll, we'll get to him eventually, um, when we get to Brindleton Bay. Okay, and this is Marissa's little starter house. This is Marissa. Um, she's probably one of the first sims that I made for this, uh, for this save file, even before I decided to share it with the community. But, um, she has the soulmate, soulmate aspiration, and she works as a rag reviewer in the style influencer career. And her skills are, she's level one in cooking and charisma. And this is her, her boyfriend, but we'll, like I said, we'll get to him. If you've already played in this save, then you probably already know him, but because it seems like a lot of people really like Melissa and Emerson's story. But anyway, Marissa's uh, traits are romantic, outgoing, and good. And her aspiration trait is alluring. Her likes and dislikes for music, she likes easy listening music and romance music. And she dislikes focus music. Her hobbies and skills she likes photography and writing, and she dislikes handiness. Um, for conversation topics, she likes physical intimacy and affection, and she dislikes deception. Uh, for sim characteristics, she likes romance enthusiasts and spirited sims, and she dislikes pessimistic sims. And for her favorite colors, she likes black and purple, and she dislikes orange. And she is part of the Willow Creek Singles Club, even though she is in a relationship, she's not married yet, so she's part of the singles club. But that is Marissa. So we will move on to the next household. Next up is the Porter Curtis household. Mark and Miranda have been together for a long time, since they were kids. Now they've moved in together and Miranda wants to get married and start their family. Mark has other plans. He wants to wait in, on starting a family until they're both further in their careers. This is the only issue in their with their relationship. Will this drive a wedge between them? Basically, Miranda wants to get married and just wants to start their family already. But Mark's like, let's let's hold up. We don't have enough room in the house for you know. We don't have a big enough house. We don't have you know. We want to get our careers established so that we can afford to take family leave. We can afford to do you know to take care of the kids. Um, he's not opposed to having children. He's just doesn't think right now is the right time. This is Mark. Don't know why he's in his formal wear, but okay. And he wants to be fabulously wealthy. He wants to make sure that his future family with Miranda is set. He works as, as a water person in the athlete career. His skills are he's level three in fitness and one in charisma. And for his uh, traits, he is family oriented, he's a foodie and ambitious, and he's also biz business savvy as his aspiration trait. For likes and dislikes, he likes cooking and fitness. For uh, music, he likes alternative and electronica, and he dislikes uh, tween pop, and I also forgot to say he dislikes pipe organ. Um, for his, his favorite colors are yellow and green, and he dislikes purple. And Sim characteristics, he likes hardworking sims and family motivated sims, and he dislikes ambitionless sims. And for conversation topics, he likes discussing hobbies and physical intimacy, and he dislikes complaints. I mean, was, you know, he doesn't want to hear anybody complaining, it, it, you know, figure it out kind of thing. I swear he's not a douche. <laughs> but anyway, he is part of the Willow Creek Singles Club and the Foodies Unite. Um, because he is a foodie right now he works as a uh as an athlete but he may want to eventually become a chef or something like that okay and here is miranda she is she wants a big happy family she she just like i said she's just ready to start their family start their lives get married have their children she just she's ready to take their relationship to the final step being together, being married, and having their children. She works as a media intern for the social media career. Her skills are she's level two in charisma and level one in cooking. 
Um, which I think she may have just gained that one because she, I think she's watching cooking on TV. Oh, no, she's just sitting there. She's getting ready to then. Oh, yeah, she's getting ready to watch the cooking channel. Um, for her traits, she's family oriented. She's a foodie and she's neat. And her bonus trait or her um, aspiration trait is domestic. And for her likes and dislikes, she likes singer, songwriter music and classical music. And she dislikes electronica um, for hobbies and skills she loves baking and cooking and uh, likes rock climbing maybe one day she wants to open her own bakery or her own restaurant maybe her and Mark can open their own restaurant um, for her favorite colors she likes blue and purple and she dislikes orange um, sim characteristics she likes family motivated sims and she likes homemade uh, homebody sims not homemade sims homebody sims and she dislikes pessimistic sims and for her conversation topics she loves discussing her hobbies and talking about other people's hobbies and she likes affection she dislikes potty humor she's part of the foodies unite and the singles club as uh, well and that is the porter curtis family okay next up is the lockhart hillman household Landon aspires to be a chef. Well, this week anyway. He's non-committal, and that even means in his professional life. Abby is a family-motivated Sim who wants to settle down and get married. Will Landon ever give her what she wants, or is she just fooling herself? Okay, and this is the Lockhart Hillman fan household or house. And here is Landon. He wants to be a master chef, but again, he might change his mind. He he's he's kind of fickle he's non-committal he likes to change things up every now and then he gets bored in the same doing the same things over and over and over again he works as an assistant dishwasher in the culinary career his skills he has no skills yet he's never been one to stick to anything long enough to actually gain any skills his traits are foodie non-committal and loves the outdoors and his aspiration trait is essence of flavor. For music, he likes alternative and singer-songwriter, and he dislikes classical. For hobbies and skills, he likes fishing and cooking, and he dislikes mixology. For his, his favorite colors are black and orange, and he dislikes yellow. For his sim characteristics, uh, he likes emotional decision makers and nature enthusiasts. And for conversation topics, um, he likes small talk and flirtation, flirtation, and he dislikes malicious interactions. And he is part of the outdoor enthusiasts, even though it's just him and his brother Logan right now. And this is his girlfriend, Abby. Although she looks like she is about to throw a temper tantrum. But anyway, she has the soulmate aspiration. She wants, you know, she wants to find the love of her life. She is a media intern at the social, uh, in the social media career. Uh, she has no skills. Okay, for her traits, she is family-oriented, clumsy, and neat. And she has the alluring um, aspiration uh, trait. For hobbies and skills, she likes photography and writing. Maybe one day she will be a fashion photographer, or a fashion photographer, or maybe she wants to write a book. Maybe she wants to be a romance author. Who knows? Um, for music, she loves alternative and pop music, and she dislikes easy listening music. Her favorite colors are red and black, even though she's wearing pink shorts, but that's an oversight on my part, I think. <laughs> um, sim characteristics, she, hard -working, uh, she likes hardworking sims and family-motivated sims, and she dislikes egotistical sims. And for conversation topics, she likes small talk and affection and dislikes complaints. And actually, I do want to see... She has very bad compatibility with Landon, as you can see. But his brother, she has amazing compatibility with him. And same thing with his, her. That's her mother. Um, we'll meet them, I think, in Brindleton Bay. And she is part of the Willow Creek Singles. And she's not part of any other club. She also has a sister. Oh, let me actually show you their family trees because they actually have a little bit of one. This is her father... Uh, Wendell and her mother Melinda and this is her sister Tess um, Tess lives in San Maishuno and Wendell and Melinda 
I think they live in Brindleton Bay. And for Landon, his family tree is about the same. He, you know, his mom and dad are Dimitri and Veronica Lockhart, and his brother Logan lives in Oasis Springs. So we'll get to him soon, eventually. Um, and Logan and Landon are polar opposites. But we'll get to his story whenever we get to Oasis Springs. But that is the Lockhart Hillman family. And that is all of the households in Foundry Cove, Willow Creek. The next episode, we will be focusing on Courtyard Lane and these five households. Once again, I'd like to thank Hungry Cow Plant for the suggestion. Um, if anybody else has any more suggestions or video ideas, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to do everything or every one, but I like having good ideas and maybe something you give me will spark something of my own. Anyway, so that's all for this video. Um, if you like this video, give it a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe. And I will talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.